Hi, I'm a millet. Did you recognize me? You might know me as Jawar Bajra or Ragi. Just like you, my own people had forgotten me. My absence caused a nutritional crisis in my village Bade Guda in Orissa. My cultivators have been a tribal community. Agriculture and forest being a major sources of our livelihoods, we shared a human nature balance. Various events in history destroyed nature cycle by introducing water intensive cash crops and replacing me and my nutritious family of millets. Climate change has increased frequency of disasters adding to the recurring damage. Having forgotten traditional ways of resilience and lacking a disaster shelter, we needed a durable solution to regain resilience. A group of architecture students working alongside their partners came up with an innovative solution to help us. Proposed a cyclone resistant shelter that is self-sustainable and will be a prized community asset. The alternative use as an agricultural resource center during non-disaster period, the millet processing unit will promote my revival and enhance livelihoods. The self-help group along with Kresh will empower women. The center will train the villagers in financial wisdom and skill development. The medical center will ensure access to health care. The multipurpose hall will act as a community hall with a dining and kitchen for village events. Let's see how the disaster shelter will become a net zero building while resisting cyclone winds. Building orientation, courtyard and landscape will help achieve thermal comfort. Low pitch roof with insulation and rat trap bond walls will reduce heat gain. Strategies for rainwater harvesting and sewage management are provided for net zero water cycle. Equipped with solar energy system, the center will be completely off grid. The building form, roof, and openings are designed to sustain high speed cyclone winds so that all the activities inside can function without any disruption. The design will be supported by creation of local bamboo prefabrication unit for providing modular elements of construction. Use of local materials will impart skills and generate employment. Collaboration with several government programs like Millet Mission, Samruddhi, Mission Shakti, Orissa Livelihood Mission, more is possible. This will not only help the villagers of Bade Guda but also encourage others to replicate such shelters in the near future. Team Virya is grateful to Solar Decathlon India for this opportunity to work with NGOs like Selco and Sakal, who are pioneers in improving the lives of rural communities like my village. Our net zero energy and water solution for this basic problem of community shelter will positively impact communities all over India. With the thoughtful use of resources and the right tools for decisions, let's make a sustainable future. Will you join us on a mission to make the future resilient?